G'day mate, Uncle Nico reporting from Down Under, the greatest place on earth. And I have some news regarding this bad boy, the Fisher & Paykel Sleep Style Auto. I'm not sure if many people use it overseas, but here in Australia, very popular device. Maybe because it's manufactured by our cousins across the pond over in NZ. G'day cuz. What about we head out at six o'clock for some fish on chops, eh bro? Anyway, it's deja vu all over again. The 3G data apocalypse, yes, just like the AirSense 10. Sleep Style also uses a cellular modem to transmit data wirelessly to your clinic. And I don't know why, but they've used a 3G cellular modem. Can anyone explain that? What the hell's going on? Just happens over and over and over again. Now the apocalypse is scheduled for September 2024 little over 12 months, and when that time comes, your machine will self-destruct, self-combust, self-implode, and turn into a great big steaming pile of electronic horse manure. Only joking. When that time comes, your machine will no longer transmit data wirelessly via the 3G cell towers to your healthcare professional, your clinic you'll have to take in your little dipstick, your dongle, whatever they call it, info USB stick, your memory stick, and they'll put it in their computer and then they'll do a manual download, a manual report, which quite frankly is so 2001, let's be honest. But actually, you know what? I think we need to ask that question. It'd be rude not to. What the bloody hell is going on, guys? It's sure starting to look a lot like planned obsolescence and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. 4G comes out in what, 2014? Sleep Style comes out in 2017. They put a 3G cell modem in it. After knowing full well what happened to ResMed, why? Why would you do that? I know some people who have bought a Sleep Style this year. And what, you're telling me in one year's time, a little over 12 months, it can no longer do the functions that it has now? Doesn't make any sense. Right, if you're gonna go down this route and put these stupid cell modems in it and not embrace Wi-Fi, then at least have the option to exchange it out. Philips do it. If Philips can do it, <laughs> anybody can do it. All right, I've seen what these things look like. It's not that hard. You could literally pop a flip, pull it out, put a 4G one in, done. I think you guys are starting to take the piss. I think what you're doing is you're making these machines redundant on purpose and not good enough. Now I quickly want to show you a way you can use Sleep HQ to circumnavigate all this bullshit. Super easy to do. Now, many of you would know that we have Sleep HQ for patients. They can put their info USB stick in their computer, drag the files into the cloud and chart all their information, share in an instant, it's bloody brilliant. But what you might not know is we also have a clinic version of Sleep HQ that lets you manage patients remotely and it's completely free for you and your patients, yeah? If your patient's on a free plan, like them, you get access to their most recent 30 days of high detailed, high resolution, breath by breath data, all your trends, all your reports, everything you need to see exactly what's going on with your patient. If your patient, however, goes, you know what? I love this, you know, but I wanna connect up a Sleep HQ O2 ring. We wholesale these now as well. Um, I wanna connect up Apple Health, see my sleep stages. I want the whole kit, I'm happy to pay the subscription. Well, you'll also get access to their complete history. It's good for the patient. They're engaged. They can see exactly what's going on with their therapy. It's great for compliance. And you guys get to see exactly what's going on as well. And you also make money. Anyway, guys, if you'd like to learn more about how you can use Sleep HQ to connect and manage your patients, Put some information in the description down below. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Press the apple thing.